This is Ruben Spruit. Thank you for watching this video. This video is all about server hosted desktops. In this video I want to present Citrix Zen Desktop, Citrix AZX. Citrix uh, Zen Desktop is running several VMs on Hyper-V, on vSphere on, and on Zen Server. Besides Zen Desktop, I'm using Zen App 5.0 and 5.0 Feature Pack 2 as well. First of all, start with um, Citrix web interface and this web interface is the application and desktop portal for hosted desktops and streamed applications. So these applications are uh, in some cases executed centrally and presented locally or in some cases streamed directly to this machine and executed locally. All these desktops are executed centrally and presented locally using ICA and HDX technology. Okay, let's start this Windows 7 management desktop. This management desktop is a virtual machine and this virtual machine is running on Hyper-V 2.0. Let's start this Vista management desktop. And this Vista management desktop is running on VMware vSphere 4.0. This is Windows Server 2003, terminal services. Citrix ZenApp is added to this environment. Feature Pack 2 is um, is installed and this is Windows Server 2008 and Zenf 5.0 is uh, is added as well. So as you can see we have four centralized desktops and one local desktop. Okay. Vista 2003-2008. Okay, this 2008 desktop, I'm able to use uh, this machine, this virtual machine. This this terminal server is, uh, is also a VM, and this is also interesting to see how this um, graphical application, how these graphics are presented from end user point of view. And I have a pretty high uh, internet connection with high bandwidth. But even with lower bandwidth, um, you will see the same behavior as you see with within this video. I'm using fiber optics at home with 50 megabytes up and down connection speed. So that's not average uh, in the connection, uh, I assume. Let's see how this video um, is presented. Make it full screen. Pretty nice, right? For an old school terminal server environment. For an old school solution. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's move on to this Windows 7 desktop. And let's see how USB support is. Um, is controlled. I can control what the behavior is when I'm connecting USB devices. Um, I will connect an Apple iPod Touch to this physical laptop. The loop, there it is. It is not connected because my preferences are not connected when a new device is uh, is connected. I will connect it manually. So I'll use this button, and you will see that. This Apple iPod is accessible from this VM. Let's see how this Windows Server 2003 environment behaves with Flash applications. Flash is pretty uh, graphical intensive as well. on the website.
yes, so streaming media, streaming uh, media within this Google um, server environment is not uh, is not bad. Pretty impressive, so actually. Okay, so this is a Windows Vista VM. Um, I think that application virtualization is very, very important in desktop virtualization with server hosted desktops and client side desktops. Um, this application is packaged with VMware ThinApp. Uh, the, same, the, the, the same is true for uh, Microsoft AppV or InstallFree or Citrix ZenApp or well, the application virtualization vendors. And you'll see that this application is not installed on this in this VM. It's just published and running on this VM. And from end user point of view, there's no difference for installed and virtualized applications. But from management point of view, there's a big, big difference, and especially in a server-hosted VDI environment. Okay, I think that's it. You saw the HDX technology for uh, USB support, flash support, multimedia content, image. Um, you saw uh, application virtualization, and I think server-hosted desktops uh, is a very interesting um, solution for managing and delivering applications uh, to end users. Um, it's one of the ways for application and desktop delivery. I want to thank you again and see you soon.